Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AAPL. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, a very eventful day on this one, and now we have a, a very uh, well-seen, well-known pattern, and I'm trying to emphasize that because, first off, I don't want to come across like this is some sort of great discovery on my part and that I have some sort of special skill. No, nothing like that. I assure you, people that use charts and understand charts have taken notice of this pattern. And I go through all that because when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-filling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movements. And this pattern that we have here is what is known, and I'm just gonna draw it crudely here, and then I'll talk about the levels, but known as a bear pennant. So that is the bear pennant that has taken shape. And it is a bearish pattern. Now, the tricky part here is though it is a, a, it's, it's, a, it's occurring in a bullish environment, though, in terms of a, a trend. And also, just because there's a bearish pattern does not mean that for sure guaranteed the price is going down. If only trading were that easy. If only you could say, hey, that's a bullish pattern, therefore the price is going up. Hey, that's a bearish pattern, the price is going down. It takes a little bit more to it than that. But my point here is a lot of people are going to be watching these levels. And when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can definitely produce some very dynamic movements. And like I said, that's what we have with this area. And the level that a lot of people are going to be watching because it's the bottom portion of this pattern is that pink line there, the 200 period simple moving average currently valued at 112.25. So that's going to be an area where if the price breaks below there, no such thing as a guarantee. My core point here is though, it becomes a more than valid and rational thought that a break of 112.25 could very well create quite a bit of downward selling pressure. So that's certainly gonna be an area that you're gonna to wanna to watch very closely. But now if the price decides it wants to start to bounce back upwards, what would you have in this situation? Well, if the price bounces to the upside, that main area of resistance that a lot of people will be watching is that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, which as you can see right there, is right where the price got rejected. So I'm not saying that level can't be broken, but that's certainly gonna be a main area to watch moving into next week. So 115, oh, that makes it easy. 115.25 is the current value of that 50 per moving average, key level of resistance. And then 112.25 is the key level of support, that pink line down there. So let's see how the price behaves and uh, continues to play out next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.